What's going on guys? I am Watch JR Go and today we've got a special guest in the vlog. Recycles? Yeah. Yeah. I think you like have him out or something. Yeah. Oh, he's got the belt too. Welcome to the motorcycle garage. <laughs> wow. Is... Looks dangerous. That's a grom. That's what you want. That's the right? grom right there. Yeah, we can totally get that out. All right, Tanner's taking the Helix out. I'm gonna try it. I don't have a motorcycle license. Don't okay. worry. I don't think you need one for that. Oh, for California you do. I'm pretty sure you do, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Don't worry about it. First wreck and Zach almost dropped the hyper. <laughs> All right, you're good now if you want. Quinn's first try, he's got this. <laughs> Oh my god, this is like a couch. I know. So it's like a bicycle with an engine. Dang it, dude, I messed you up already. <laughs> my bad. You know, it just makes me look a little, a little bit more tough. You know, Guns N' Roses shirt wasn't enough. You gotta have scars and be like, I got this one on a exactly. motorcycle. Look, I got, yeah, I got, if you want to be demonetized. got that one on a motorcycle. Wow. I got, yeah, dude, my legs are all torn up. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Whenever you let off the throttle, it sounds like it's breaking. Yes, it has, uh, the wheel bearings are like failing in the back, so it screams at you. I love it. I would last, time I a pink, my, last time I rode a pink, last time I rode a moped, it was in the back of Mike's car. <laughs> yes. All I can do is I'm not your mom. Oh, you got it. You want? I got it. Yeah. <laughs> like a 60 year old guy just rode by on one too, so now I just feel like an old man. <laughs> He's alive. Flying back on the helix. Yeah! <laughs> These dudes are all professional motorcycle riders. I don't know what they were talking about. We got the moped up to like 70 by our yes. neighborhood. It was so funny. Did you see me crash the moped? No, I didn't. It's on spot. There you go, top one. <laughs> That's so sick! <laughs> How to ride a motorcycle? The, uh, the really fast, probably don't try this at home way. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of like your moped, right? You got your, your twist throttle, it's normal, right? And uh, front brake's right here. Rear brake under your foot. And then your gear shift is on the other side. Your moped didn't have the gear shift or the clutch, right? Correct. So you're gonna pull the clutch in, put it in first gear, which is down. You just push down with your foot and uh, it'll click into gear. And then basically just kind of feel where it's at gently. So give it a little bit of throttle and then slowly let the clutch out until it takes off. That's it. And once it takes off, pick your feet up, just like the moped. It should be really easy for you. And second? And then, well, second, you go up. So put the clutch back in, like, well, I'll kill it. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, yeah. yeah. Put the clutch back in, and then just lift up to second, and you'll be there. Well, now, guess... if, if you need to stop, just pull both levers. So this is my first time back on a moped since this happened. All right, are you guys ready? Three, two. All right, here goes Quentin's yeah, first try. Everyone else is gone. They all left on bikes. Okay. I guess I'll see what happens. Oh wait, do you want to be an auto? No, it's it should be fine how it is. Okay, that's that that's it. Yeah. Okay, this is clutch, right? That's a clutch. Yep. Okay, so pull it in. That's first gear, and then just a little bit of throttle. You don't need much. It's really tough. Yeah. Okay. Kind of a little bit less. Kind it's of mixed so that. touchy. <laughs> it is way touchier than the scooter. Yeah. That's it, dude. Yeah. That's it. If you gotta stop, pull them <laughs> both. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Is this going to be neutral? Pro. First try. No okay. problem. It's on neutral now. Okay, now we're back down. I don't know why he needed like me to explain anything. He knows how to put it in neutral. This is this is fake. Well, I, I watched a bunch of videos and I've just never done it. Except for one time <laughs> when I dropped my friends. It was big, so. There you go. The Grom is the key. Okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> Clutch. <laughs> do you have a helmet for him? I do, but. I don't need a helmet. All right, all right. 
on how to actually move. Yeah, so just, if it starts jumping, pull the clutch back in. You can pull the clutch whenever you want. I figured since I drive a manual car, this would be so easy. That's it, that's what it is. Just think this is your foot and it's easy. Tanner's been backing it up over here for a while. About to play that juvenile. Oh, you got it! Oh! And then rev match down to first, I felt, I felt pretty tough. That's what's up. That's really it, you just keep doing it forever and you're a pro. So what I'm hearing is it's time to take it on Kellogg. That, if you <laughs> want, should we take him on Kellogg? <laughs> no. Oh, no. He's an idiot. He's literally like wide open in the corner. That's awesome. Bombing into the corner. Oh, dude, we were on a racetrack and it looks like a street. Yeah. Oh. Got a GoPro right there. Go through both and then back through one. So. <laughs> this is couple goals. That's it. <laughs> Goals. All right, we got Quentin's Corvette Challenger. Oh, look at the seats in this Challenger. Uh, never mind. I've never seen these seat inserts. It's pretty cool. Oh, look at that—a Tesla Model Three creeping through the hood. Quentin's back there dragging his foot like he's a motocross expert right there, throwing it into some dirt track turns. <laughs> Is it awesome? It's a lot better. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. It's a lot really easy on a like nice straight road too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you. Okay. Oh, we're gonna make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, the gang is way back there. I probably shouldn't have left them at like uh, some speed. Or just say some speed is what I was doing. Anyway, Tanner is tearing it up on the Helix back there and uh, Quentin's basically a pro Grom rider now. He's got the whole launch, clutch, everything on point. They wanted to see the burnout. Yeah! Let's go! I probably shouldn't be so mean to my uh, Michelin Power Road or whatever's on here. It's such a nice tire, but it also wears really well, so the burnout shouldn't hurt it. I think we look like a legit motorcycle gang for a while. <laughs> I'm driving one sketch, so I was just trying to get the shot. I need to get my own moped so I can just go, <laughs> I can just go down the road. I also need to get a motorcycle license. Wait, but, you already have one. Yeah. Obvious. Yeah, we all have them. Yeah, I mean, I, get a new one. I mean, I need to pick it up from home. What did you my other pair? Of uh, it was fun. I need a bigger one though, because that one struggles way too much. I want where to go. The super scooter or the Ducati? <laughs> I'm going straight for the 100 plus horsepower dirt bike that does 140 mile an hour. How many CCs is it? 1100. So it's 10 times that. That's 11. Yeah. I thought that'd be like 500. <laughs> it's, yeah. What's up? Is that a blaster? Oh, always. You know I love riding that bike. All right, that is it for today, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you guys next time. All right, we're going to get the boosted board out. Let's see who wrecks. I will ride a motorcycle, but not that. Yeah. Not yeah. Wow. Right there with you. It's so much fun. So you just what go motor, forward and... Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, wait. Let him figure it out for himself. Well, it's not. Film with him. Film with him. Film with him. <laughs> you, give it to him. All right. Wait, wait, wait. All right. <laughs> I hope he doesn't die. This is the worst advice ever. I love you. I guess. I guess idea. you can figure it out without getting on it. <laughs> You're wearing the jacket. That's good. I did turn the throttle all the way down. So. No! You <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> wait. So. I will That's gladly it. ride a motorcycle, but not a boosted board. I was gonna try to get out of your shot. Uh, full but... gas, full no, gas. Fine. Is this the stance? Yeah, that's it. maybe even wider if you want. That's it, that's it. Just have to Tanner, come back, button. we need to fix the remote. So to change the speed, you just push the bottom button three times. <laughs> and uh, it'll you'll see the LEDs flash faster based on how fast it's gonna go. You're like Roman Atwood, but in Kansas. The what? You're like Roman Atwood, but in Kansas. Oh. <laughs> Out on a budget. Yeah, I, yeah, I wish. Roman on a budget.
So you want to put it, turn it up just a little bit. Okay. There you go. All right, let's see how fast it's It's all the way up. Is it all the way up? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this thing is like a little RC car. How fast, is this like the next setting or how fast is this gonna go? It's gonna go 22. We got a ton of toys out, but when I tried to get the drift trike out, the handlebars on the drift trike turned too many times. I didn't realize that the wires were wrapped around like over and over and over. And I went to straighten the wheel out and instead ripped the wires out of the motor. So now I have to replace the motor. Sad day. <laughs> no drift trike though. That was the fun fire part. Fire and spark. Man, there was a fire. Like legit, a fire came out of that wiring. There's no fuse. Tanner's the only one who won't ride the Grom though. What's up with We need to make him ride yeah, we should. I'm way too big for this, bro. Look at this. No, you're not. Uh, you've connected to the Bluetooth. Have you? Full size adults can ride this. A full size? Yeah. I'm gonna hit time. You could lock up the rear brake on that until yesterday and we were out shooting the review of it and I just started using the rear brake and trying to twist it sideways and it worked. You can slide the whole thing around. Turn it sideways? Yeah, do it. <laughs> nice. We're gonna get some delicious food and someone like followed us all the way to McDonald's and then started yelling at us saying we were super unsafe when we were going like five mile an hour. You gotta say what you gotta say to them. I understand, I'm sorry. I've learned my lessons. <laughs> I, I apologize, not for what I did, but for how it made you feel. Yeah, exactly. Food mission complete. It was good. Let's go cause more trouble.